Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you've never sat by my channel before, my name is Molly Ann. I make a variety of videos and if you guys enjoy the videos, you should definitely like and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I upload more videos. So today's video is going to be a review video over lip products that I've been using lately and I've actually been using it for probably a couple months now and I am absolutely in love with this lip product and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. So the lip product that I'm talking about is from um, Sensgen, I think that's how you say it, Sense Cosmetics, Sensgen Cosmetics, um, and it is the Lip Sense product. So I'm sure you guys have heard about it. If not, where have you been living? Because I feel like everyone's talking about it now. Maybe not really, but I feel like everyone is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how to buy this. It's claims, how it works for me, and kind of stuff like that. So let's go ahead and how I bought it and how much it costs. So I have a friend from high school that was hosting a party on Facebook. Um, so I decided to hop on the party and kind of just check it out. I'd heard a lot about this product and everyone had been raving about it. And it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to check this out for myself. So I hopped on the party. She posted a bunch. Um, the girl that was like running the party, the distributor of... Um, the lipstick she was kind of taking over the party and she was posting pictures kind of telling us a little bit about the products um what you need to know all that kind of stuff so i kind of sat there and was like okay i'm kind of sold on this kind of not sold on it not really sure if i want to buy it yet do i want to spend the money on it do i not um and are these claims really true so she posted a couple videos showing us like how it worked um the claims of it and different stuff like that and i honestly was kind of blown away and i was like you know what everyone's talking about it i want to try it out for myself i'll check it out i'll be able to film a video on it it'll be awesome so what i did is i bought like the starter pack so it comes with three different things um, i'm gonna go ahead and run through those really quick so it comes with whatever color you chose so i chose the color in aussie rose which is just kind of a nice um pinky color it's the color that I have on my lips today I wanted to wear it on my lips today so I could explain this to you guys in the video because I really want it to be like show you guys these claims are true um because I feel like a lot of people are going to be skeptical of it so I picked up this color and then in the pack it comes with whatever type of gloss you want to use because the gloss is what's going to seal everything in place and kind of keep it hold there um, and that's part that's going to really moisturize your lips is the gloss. So they have it in a variety of finishes. You can have a glossy finish, a matte finish. They have it in a glitter finish, an opal finish. Whatever type of finish you want on your lips. I went with the just traditional glossy one because I just like my lips to look pretty glossy. So I picked up the glossy one just a clear gloss. And then the last thing that it comes with is the oops remover because this is honestly the only way that you can get this lipstick off. And I didn't really think I needed to buy this, but after talking to the girl that was kind of hosting the party, the distributor of it, she told me it's the best option because otherwise it's very hard to get off of your lips. So I've used oil-based remover makeup to try to kind of take it off my lips to see if this really was worth it. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is seriously worth it because no oil-based makeup remover has been able to take this lip gloss, lip gloss off. So that right there says a lot. Um, so anyways, I paid $63.99 for the three, but that is a one-time cost because now every time I want a new color, I don't need to repurchase the gloss unless I want a different gloss finish. And I don't need to repurchase the oops remover for a while until I run out of it. Um, but now anytime I want a different color, I can just purchase the color and it'll be $25. The great thing about this though is that these do not run out very fast because you're using a lot less product than you would like a drugstore lip gloss or something like that because this is not something that has to be reapplied throughout the day. I have never once had to reapply this and the thousands of times that I've, not thousands of times, but the lot of times that I've been wearing, I've been wearing this lip gloss a ton lately, and I'm here to tell you I've not had to reply it once. And I've been doing a lot of eating and a lot of drinking and sometimes kissing when I've been using this product and it's literally not coming off of my lips. And that's what I think is honestly truly amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the claims of this. I have the claims of it on my phone and I just want to tell you guys what they claim and kind of run through that with you guys. So like I said, $25 for just the color and let's I think it's like 70 uh it's 0.25 fluid ounces. It lasts for a really long time. Everyone that I know that has tried this product is absolutely in love with it because it works so well. So the claims on well this is just kind of what I'm going to read from their website. So it says the premier product for Sense Gin's Lip Sense is a patented amazing departure from conventional lipsticks and lip color. Lip Sense is versatile and that you can mix shades to create a number of effects. 
So the claims are it's a unique product, is waterproof, does not kiss off, smear off, rub off, or budge off. It does not dry out your lips. It actually works to restore the moisture content. And the color lasts anywhere from 4 to 18 hours. So we're going to go ahead and kind of cover all those claims. I want to show you guys that this doesn't rub off your lips. So I'm just going to rub the shit out of my lips right now. And you guys are literally going to see that it's not going to come off. So just imagine this color. There's literally nothing on my lips, and my lip color is still there, and that's what I think is absolutely amazing, because what kind of lip product can you do that with and it not, like, come off on your lips? So, that's amazing. So, I also have a tissue right here, because I want to show you guys that it also doesn't kiss off, so. There's, like, literally nothing on this tissue. It's just amazing. It doesn't come off of your lips. I've worn this numerous times when I've been eating and like nothing has ever happened. I went to a wedding a couple weeks ago. We ate, like we had dinner at the wedding. My lipstick was still in place. I had some drinks that night. It did not end up on my straw. I go and get coffee a lot. Every time I wear this and I get coffee, it doesn't come off on my straw. Like it just is really, really amazing. I've kissed my boyfriend with this on and it doesn't go off on his lips or on his cheek or anything like that. And that's what I think is so cool. Like there's literally, I've never tried a lipstick where the product does not come off of your lips. What the cool part about this is, is that it's like the pH of your body mixes with this color. So it's going to be a little bit of a different color in everybody. Um, but I think that's what's kind of cool. It's a unique color to you because your pH is what's holding this in place. The pH of your body is working to keep this lipstick in place, which is absolutely amazing amazing and I'm seriously I just love it so much so um instead of if and okay so getting back to the thing it said that it doesn't dry out your lips now that's the only thing I've had a little bit of problems with sometimes my lips do feel a little dry after I'd say probably four or five hours of wearing it um that's when my lips start to feel dry so instead of using a chapstick to put on chapstick is going to kind of flake it off so instead, I just take my gloss and I just reapply my gloss and I have no problems with it. It doesn't flake off. It's not peeling off. It's not doing any of that. It's just staying in place. So that's what I think is really cool. Um, but when it is time for you to take it off and you do want to remove it, all you have to do is just kind of put the oops remover all over your lips. I let it sit for like two or three minutes I just kind of rub it around really well with my lips and then I just wipe it off with the tissue at the end of the night and my lipstick is off and I don't have to worry about it um but the one thing that I will tell you guys and that I did find out from one of the distributors that I didn't really know beforehand when you take off the color after you kind of rubbed it all over your lips before you put the remover back into the tube um you should kind of clean off the end of the brush I'll show you guys what I mean just you should clean off like this end of the brush because I stained mine and that sucks and I also kind of stained the color of it um, because I've been using it to take off my lipstick so just make sure you guys kind of rub that off um, that's something to know for future me because I didn't know that beforehand but I, honestly I really really love this lipstick I think it just works so well the applicator is so easy to use so essentially how I apply this is I just kind of separate my lips apart like that and I kind of just do that and do that and I do one coat, I let it dry, I go and I do another coat, I let it dry and I go in and do one more coat and let it dry. So I do three coats of it and then I go in with the gloss and that's all I have to do. It's super, super easy. The only downfall to this product that is not something that I enjoy but I can get over it because of the effects of this is that it does not smell very well. Um, it smells a lot like a rubbing alcohol scent and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but for the fact that it works so well, I can get over that. So that is pretty much my review on that. If you guys have any other questions about um, lip scents, just leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure I get back to your comments or anything like that. Um, definitely check out lip scents if you can find a distributor. I'm sure somebody knows of a distributor um, or something like that. And you might even be able to buy off of their website. I honestly haven't really checked. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!